Welcome to another episode of Gumchus Gizmos where I am doing a revisit on the DIY HoloLens, or as I have dubbed it, the Hollow Patch. <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, there will be a link in the description to my previous video, or you can click the click the top right corner up above. But essentially, the HoloLens is an augmented mixed reality experience where you can see holograms in real life through this device you wear on your head. Now, the actual thing you can buy for $3,000, but I made this with half a Google Cardboard that you can get for like five to seven, then 50, for like five bucks. And in the previous video, I explained all of this, so I won't go into too much depth right now, but when I used it, there were only two features I could find that worked with the hollow patch that I, cr I had created. One was you could watch a holographic screen in front of you of any YouTube video, and another was like some planet defense game, and they both worked really well, but those were the only two examples or apps I could find that could work with my thing. And that's the main problem with it, I think, is that for a real DIY HoloLens, it should do everything the HoloLens can do. And so I just let this device simmer in the back in the back of my dark mind. I am what is what am I doing with my hands right now? I don't know. Until Prahaf, Pravacha Jane, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry about that, commented in the last HoloLens video that I could use a HoloLens emulator to do anything the HoloLens can do on my cardboard thing. And I thought that was really cool. And so I'll explain a little more in depth about it. It was really complicated. It took so much out of me mentally, spiritually, emotionally. But without further ado, let's get into this week's Gumtious Gizmo. Now the very core of this experiment is the HoloLens emulator, which is basically a free downloadable program that shows you everything the HoloLens does. To Cortana, to the internet where you can search browsers and stuff, with the only difference being that instead of physically walking around a hologram or air tapping like you would with a HoloLens, you do this on your PC. So you walk around with WASD or the arrow keys, and you select by clicking the mouse, kind of like your basic 3D game. Now this is really cool to use, but... It comes at a cost. It is free of money, but not of your soul. I can't tell you how confusing it was to get this thing downloaded. I mean, I had to install a virtual machine, and then I had to go into settings in Google, how many freaking tutorials to, to get Hyper-V set up, which I had to go, oh, I could only do if I upgrade the program membership for $100 to get Hyper-V set up, trial, which I could only get for exchanging three internet pieces with a door around around doing and I the only difference only get What happened? I think I blacked out a bit just then. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So then with this thing on the computer, the only trouble is getting this to work on my hollow patch. Now surprisingly, this was the easiest step of all, to get the image from the computer onto my phone and to get all the head turning rotation working. It was just a simple app that I downloaded called Kino VR. It's also a software on the computer, but it is all completely free. And I've explored it in some more of my videos, so I won't go in too in depth here. But basically, it lets you play any 3D game in virtual reality. And because I only need one half of the screen to put in the hollow patch, it makes it look like a hologram right in front of me. But I still have the problem that I'm not able to interact with these objects. Because the HoloLens prides itself on being completely wireless and hands-free, you access and interact with the environment through air tapping and voice controls. Now, the voice controls work when you're near enough to the computer, but I can't really do the air tapping thing, which to everyone else just looks like you're pinching the air. So I came up with a creative idea of taking the mouse and velcroing it to the back of a glove so that I can air tap just by putting my fingers like they do. Now, you're probably thinking, Grant, wouldn't it be easier just to hold the mouse in your hand? Wouldn't it be more efficient? Wouldn't it be less confusing? And you would not have a chance to break your thing? Yes, sure, I agree with all of that. But hey, this thing is supposed to be hands-free and convenient, so it might not look pretty, it might not be pretty, it might not work, but... But something else inspirational. I don't know. I just I just like doing it. I feel cool. Do a little tap-tap. You know, you get it. And now for the real deal, the motion tracking. With the HoloLens, it knows your environment through several cameras that it can scan where you are and also know where you are in relation to the environment based off of if you're moving closer to something or further away. 
I do not have that luxury with my phone. I can only have the app of Kino VR work, I mean, even if I didn't, I have no idea how to program a camera that can use augmented reality to scan my whole room and identify where I am, so I came up with this uh, very simple but very effective system. I broke out one of my old robotics kits, Mindstorms. If, if you know what Mindstorms is, then you're cool, BTW. And I strapped an ultrasonic sensor to the top of the hollow patch. Now, an ultrasonic sensor basically works like Batman. Uh, it sends out a sound signal and times how long it takes for that sound to get back. Did I say Batman? I meant ba a bat. I meant a bat using, like, a sonar. I'm an idiot, freaking who cares about... What am I doing? I'm in a closet recording this, for heaven's sake. So I put this robot to wirelessly communicate to another robot by the computer. So I programmed it so that when the ultrasonic sensor is sees that it's getting closer to the wall on the left, then it will... Then the other robot will press the A key, moving everything to the left, and vice versa if it's going right. So in this way, I can move to the left and right, and the hologram will stay in place on the wall or wherever I have it set. And after going through all these confusing steps, setups, and velcroing a mouse on the back of my hand, it actually works. You have access to everything that the HoloLens does. I can even use Cortana. What are hot dogs made of? Truly, one of the greatest questions gripping our nation, what is a hot dog made out of? But you can see I can use the mouse as well as gazing to change where I place a web page as well as I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can do anything that the HoloLens can do. It might not be perfect, but it works. According to wikipedia.org, pork and beef are the traditional meats used in hot dogs. Huh, who knew? Also, you have access to the store, which you can download HoloLens apps, and for some reason I wasn't able to play any games, but I will try my darnest to try to do a HoloLens game, which I think would be really cool, so stay tuned for that in the future. But for now, I was able to actually use holograms, which is a neat little setting where you can put little holograms or animations just in places. Like here I have a little, little Earth solar system, I thought that looked good just right in the corner there in my room, because, you know, why not? But I can access it with the air tapping mouse. I can make it grow larger. I can make it get smaller. I can do anything. Now, I'd just like to point out that this thing is not practical at all. I mean, I have freaking, like, sensors strapped in, robots programming. I have, I have a freaking mouse Velcro to the back of my head, for heaven's sake. This, this thing is not supposed to look pretty. It's not supposed to be this finished product. It's just supposed to demonstrate. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take this off so I can look at you right in the eye in the lens, because that's all I'm seeing, a camera lens. This thing is supposed to just convey an idea. An idea that the thought, the dream, if you will, of seeing something imaginary in the real world and being able to interact with it isn't something you can, I'm gonna take this off too. This is killing the vibe here. Isn't something that you can only get if you have $3,000 to spend. It's supposed to convey the idea that next to anything can be made with next to nothing. I mean, I just pull this together with bells and whistles. I just, just with some cardboard glove, uh, free, free software, by the way, and my old robotics kit, and if I didn't have that, I'm sure I would come up with some other convoluted way to control the keys for my movements or whatever. But just with some household objects and some creativity, I was able to create a functioning HoloLens, and I plan on doing more videos in the future of exploring more about the software and, and just doing other stuff, and I'm really excited about it. Now, I'm sure that the HoloLens is a lot easier to work with and is more functional and all that, but this still works. It may not be perfect, but it still works. And it's not without its flaws. For example, the motion tracking system that I have, I can only move from side to side. Uh, to move back and forth, I need another sensor pointing towards the wall there, and to move up and down, I need another sensor, and that's just not practical at all. But imagine if there would be an app on your phone that you just... I'm going to pick this up again now. An app on your phone, you just slide into one of these really cheaply made half Google Cardboards, and then the camera on the phone would be able to detect your surroundings, maybe either with a placeable marker, or maybe even just by detecting what are the walls, the ceiling, the floor, and then it could place holograms in your world, and you don't have to connect to a computer or do all this crazy stuff. Now, I do not know how to program or make apps at all. I just know how to build things with my hands. So, if 
you know how to make apps or if you know someone who does or even if you don't I just highly encourage you to share this video, whether Facebook, Twitter, even if you just show it to someone else. This thing needs to be made. This needs to become a thing. I don't know. I'm getting pretty excited about it. But, uh, I anyway, I'm going to stop rambling here because I frankly forgot what I'm talking about. Wait, or who, what am I? What is this? Who, where am I? Who am I? Anyway, see you, see you later on the flip, flippity-doo-dah.